Thank you very much for being here. Corruption is one of the sickness of the illness uh, of our society and we think that a big part of the response for an alternative to cuts in public spending and to austerity is to seriously fight against corruption. Para mí lo más importante es hablar de la corrupción que existe actualmente en el mundo y um, de sobre todo del papel que están teniendo los empleados públicos y de la presión a que están siendo sometidos en estos momentos. Se culpa a los empleados públicos como um, eh, causantes o un poco eh, que intervienen en la corrupción cuando realmente no es así. Los empleados públicos han de denunciar todos aquellos casos que encuentren de corrupción y sobre todo mm, eh, en mi intervención hago mención al importante papel que tienen los sindicatos y las asociaciones en estos momentos para defender los intereses de los trabajadores públicos, porque una defensa de los trabajadores públicos para eh, tener un, unas buenas eh, condiciones de trabajo redunda en las instituciones, en una mejora de las instituciones de control. Y es, eso es sobre todo lo que yo destacaría de mi intervención que voy a realizar. Conjuntamente con la Internacional de Servidores Públicos para hacer hincapié en la importancia de los trabajadores de organismos de control ante la lucha contra la corrupción. Si realmente interesa la lucha contra la corrupción, tenemos que enfocar el problema laboral que tienen los trabajadores ante el acoso que sufren cuando descubren irregularidades o apartamientos en la administración pública. Si realmente importa la corrupción, hay que apoyar a los trabajadores de organismos de control. There are some uh, characteristics of the pub, uh, privatization of uh, public services in Korea. So the first one is the government uh, give up their responsibility for the provider of the public services. And the second one is uh, in this cost, uh, they uh, give uh, much more benefit to the uh, big companies. Uh, and uh, the third one is uh, this procedure is uh, uh, linked to the corruption. So uh, the trade unions in Korea is fighting against this corruption and privatization. And uh, the most active and strong union who are uh, against uh, this uh, is uh, f facing very severe repression by the government. You know, one of the real reasons why I think that we need to be united on this is the cost that's associated with uh, corruption. It's around $2.6 trillion per year. And to put that in perspective, uh, in 2011, the Japanese uh, tsunami earthquake, if some refer to it as, and we've all seen it on the, on the media, it's, uh, that was roughly um, $309 billion. So this is, in essence, having eight Japanese tsunamis happen every year. So it's quite significant. And how that relates to quality public services, those are monies that we could put back into government funding, because we all know with austerity measures that are being exercised, it's primarily a lack of, um, of funding. And so this is an opportunity to put back and have some quality public service. I'll also talk about whistleblowing in terms of, even though we have whistleblowing legislation, it doesn't necessarily have the teeth that one needs to have and um, a proposed solution with respect to an independent body and what that indep independent body uh, would look like. So I'll go down sort of the, the pros and cons of uh, the benefit to, again, government and public uh, sector as well as the benefits and uh, for unions and the cons if we don't really address this issue.